Today I'm going to teach you how to transform this ugly looking data into a nice chart like this one with icons and also an interactive feature. So if I click on part time, you can see that everything will auto update. So let's start. We go to data. First, we do some formatting. So I go to view, grid lines, get rid of grid lines. I select everything. I go here. I click on the bucket, select gray. Next, I need to insert something called people graph. So we go to insert and then we do add ins. You can see people graph here. If you don't have it, you go to get add ins. You type people graph. Then you press here, you'll get people graph and then you can add it. Once you add it, you can go to my add ins and you will see it here. Once you have it here, you can click on it and say add. And as you can see, I will get this chart with some random data in it. So I can resize this chart a little bit. So it's better for me. I can make it move down a little bit. And there you go. I'm going to link some data to it to show you. So I can click on it, click on this, select your data. And I'm going to select only the part timers. I do create. You can see I have 150 males and 98 females. Now I can change the title of this by again clicking here and saying this is my workforce composition. I click on the arrow. I have changed the title and you have some other options. So if I click here, I can change my type. For example, you have this type or this type, but I'm going to stick to this and I can change my theme. So for example, if you like something blue, you can do this and you have some other options. You can play with those options. For now, I'm going to select this and the shape. So if I don't like these people, I could change it to this, for example, or to this, whatever I find suitable. So let's go back to this and let's close this. Now, the next problem I have is I need those buttons if you see them here. So how to get them? So to do this, you need to go to developer. If you don't have developer, you go to file, more options. Under options, you have customize ribbon. And then you have here developer. You need to take this. So if it's thick, it's OK. You go to developer, you do insert under form controls. You click on this and you can come here, for example, and you have your first button. We will repeat the same process and add a second button. And next, we're going to change the name of the button. So I right click on the first one. I do edit text. I can change it to part time. Same for the second one. Right click, edit text, and then we do full time. The other problem I have is that those two are not aligned. So to align them, there is a trick. You do insert illustration shapes. You select any shape. Let's say this one. You insert it. And then once you insert it and click on it, you have shape format and you have alignment. So if you press control and you keep control pressed, you can select your other buttons and then you do align, align left. You can move them if you want a little bit like this. And then you click outside. You can click on the shape and delete it because you don't need it anymore. The next step is to have this chart change based on what I select. So I'm going to teach you the concept and you can apply it and develop it and so on. The concept is simple. We will have another table, a helper table. And in this table, what we're going to do is the data that will come here will be based on what you select. So let's do it. I copy paste male, female. And then I write data here. And then here I'm going to use the cell for my checked radio buttons. So I click on the first one, right click, format control, under control, cell link. We click on it. Then we say OK. As you can see, I get one when this is selected. We're going to do the same for this one. You see it's already B8. So if I select it, you get two. So now based on this, I'm going to get the data. 
So let's start. Equal. I need a VLOOKUP here, right, to get my data. VLOOKUP. Lookup value is mail. The lookup array is this. So we do F4 to have the dollar sign and being able to drag the formula. And then we need the column index. For part time, it is one, two, and for full time, it is three, right? So part time is two, full time is three. Here, if I select part time, I'm gonna get one. And if I select full time, I'm gonna get two. So basically it's what I select plus one. So I'm gonna do this, again F4, and then we do plus one, then false. So as an example, if I selected part time, I will get one here, plus one, two, which means I'm gonna get the second column. We do enter, we get 589 because it's full time. If I click on part time, 150. And we can drag it, easy. Then I can select this data for my chart. So I click here, select your data. I'm gonna select this and do create. And as you can see, if I change this, the chart will automatically update. And this concept is interesting because you can do any formula here to get the data that will go into the chart. The next thing we need to do is a bit of formatting. So we're gonna go here and say, select your employment. Then we made this a bit bigger. We can color it here by going and clicking on this and we color the text. And then we select this, we can do borders under home and color everything in white. So I select this, I color this in white. Then we have a problem with this data. So to hide this data, I'm just gonna bring the chart here and then I'm gonna hide this do hide, right click, hide. So this is closer. And then I'm gonna hide some columns and rows very easily. So I select all the columns, I do hide, and then I select the rows below. And then I do hide. And as you can see, you're left with your chart. You click on it, it will auto update based on the data that you have behind it. So I hope you like this lesson. If you really liked it, do leave a thumb up and please watch the next two videos because in the next two lessons I'm going to teach you how to make graphs like this that are really flexible and we're not going to use this, we're going to use the normal charts. So stay tuned.